And with week one of the high school football season just days away, the head football coach from Ashford High School expressed his concerns as the countdown to football season begins. Eliana Capion has that full story. Coaches and players are used to a regular 10 week season, 15 weeks if they make it to playoffs. But this year, many are worried that they may not even make it to 10 weeks. You know, it's just not a good situation. I mean, I, I don't care what anybody says, not a good situation. Granted, we're going to play, you know, unfortunately, you know, and, and just let the chips fall where they may. But is it ideal? No, it's not ideal because ideal is what we had year, what we had years prior to this. With neighboring schools announcing team quarantines, Coach Tyra worries the virus is like a tackle you don't see coming. We're, we're making decisions based upon, you know, what we can't see, you know, and other than just trying to function as a football team and do the, do the normal things. And, you know, well, I use the word normal so loosely because, you know, you know, my normal is coming in contact, this, that, and the other. But, you know, after I'm gone, everybody's, you know, after everybody's gone, I'm here cleaning and spraying and doing everything. And, you know, it's totally different now. Coaches have been struggling to purchase their own cleaning equipment for the team out of their own pockets. I'd like for somebody to chunk some, you know, some chemical to help me to keep going back to the store, add some money into my account to help take care of that one thing. Because right now, as far as some, that's the one thing my, me and my coaches are having to shell out of pocket to go get things for. State Senator Chastine had this to say. The the key here is good, strong booster clubs. You know, uh, I promise you that if a coach has a need for uh, any type of sanitary products, that the booster club will be more than happy and willing to step up and provide that for the coaches and for the players. Ashford High plays their first away game this Friday. Covering local news first in Ashford, Ileana Capian, WDHN. And Coach Cyrus says he's thankful for the Ashford community that has helped out so much, especially with water bottle donations for the boys as they try to follow precautions during practices.